preconceptions. Crazy how we judge what we don't understand. And trust me, this poem ain't biased because we all do it. You know that girl with the short shirts and the cut shirts that saw from the belly ring? I mean, she's obviously old. Everybody knows. <laughs> or maybe she's screaming for love and attention. Giving her body is the only way she knows to get it, even if it's just for a second. Or this nigga's a fag. This is the way he dresses and moves his hands. As if that makes him gay or he's less of a man. Or my favorite, they, they always loud and got something to say. Overly aggressive over the smallest of things, but honestly, you would too. If you were shook of your name, shook and confined to chains, I mean, I'm just saying. Now, how many times have we passed and said no to that man asking for change? Comforting our own conscience like, you're going to smoke and drink it away. Not knowing that everybody he asked thought the same thing, which is exactly why he ain't ate for three days. How can we never take the time to prove our preconceptions right? Or put ourselves in someone else's shoes because truth be told at times we all come across a little misunderstood. Begging for a little compassion and understanding. Way too many of us live strictly for ourselves. Moving too fast to care for someone else. We need each other. In some way, form, or fashion, we just too scared to ask for it. Just too scared of what they'll think or what everybody's saying. We all have our own preconceptions, this is true. But when you treat somebody differently without any proof, the judgment is on you. Yeah.